Hello folks, thank you for joining me on another cooking adventure and today we are going to be doing burgers on the grill not just any burgers bison burgers and I'm really excited for this because I've been looking for bison in particular for quite some time but I cannot find it in my local area um, so found this at a grocery store about 30 miles out and it's a little bit more expensive than what ground beef is uh, but that's okay because this is a lot more healthier and according from the little bit of research that I've done is it's a lot less fattening obviously as you can see that's a pound right there it looks like a small pound because there's no fat content in that package uh, this is not going to shrink in any way so we'll get a few burgers out of that uh, what we're going to do is be doing that outside on the grill on the cast iron grate over wood, cherry wood coals and hickory also. So basically all I'm going to do for seasoning is just put this in a bowl along with some chopped onions and panko crumbs with Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just going to mix it all up and then patty it and then put it directly on the cast iron grates outside on the grill. Um, so the little bit of research that I've done, the cooking process is basically you just be, want to be very, very careful not to overcook the meat. So we don't, we want to be very careful not to build a big fire. And since this is my first time cooking bison in any way, I want to be very cautious. So we're going to take our time with it. And as I said, be very careful with our fire and our heat. So with that said, we will take it outside right now and get our fire started while we're prepping. Alright folks, so we're outside the grill and of course the first step as always is we gotta get the fire going and for myself I like to use strictly wood uh, when I'm cooking so what I have here is just a flat piece of cherry that I'm going to use to start a, you know the initial coal bed. So we'll just light that up And as I said, I don't like to use charcoal. You can do that, but I like to go this route. So I'm gonna start it with, uh, we're gonna get some cherry coals in there, and then once we're a couple minutes before we're ready to cook, I'm gonna just put some hickory chunks in there for extra flavor. So we're gonna give this a few minutes to do its thing, and then we'll feed it and let it build. Okay, so what we need to do now is just let this build uh, efficiently so we can start putting some bigger hunks of cherry here. I'm going to be using chunks of cherry about that size to get a good cold bed started. And then we'll put some hickory on after that. Okay, then that we've built up enough, I think we can start putting some bigger cherry chunks on here. Okay, while we're burning hot, now I'm going to put some hickory chunks here at the bottom. We can let all that burn down the coals and then we'll be ready to cook. Okay, so while we got the fire burning, uh, I'm going to get the prep ready. <clears throat> And I'm not going to get too serious about the prep here. I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to kind of eye everything up. It's only going to be a couple of burgers. So what I'm going to do is just dump the, uh, the one pound of bison in the bowl. And then I'm going to get everything out of there. Okay. Now I'm going to go with a little bit of chopped onions. In, I'm going to go with some panko plain breadcrumbs. Now this particular style is Japanese style. I'm not quite sure what that means, but we're going to go with it. 
Like I said, I'm not going to measure any of this. I'm just going to go by feel. I'm going to go with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And of course, I'm going to add an egg. Okay, so now that we have uh, all the ingredients that I'm going to be using in there, basically I'm just going to get it in there and start mixing it in. I guess just from mixing it in, the texture of the meat kind of feels a little bit finer, if that makes sense. Uh, not as coarse. So, I'm definitely excited to see what the, how this is going to turn out. Okay, so we have everything mixed up. And I'm just going to try to divide this into quarters. And just basically hand patty it out like you would a normal burger. We only got a little bit thicker than that. As I said, the meat definitely feels much different than regular ground beef. Uh, it feels much more watery, and I guess mushy, if that, if that makes sense. I'm not quite sure what that means, but. We'll see. Okay, so now that we got the four patties, and now we can just take it out to the grill. It, sh or it should be nice and warm. We should have coals out there ready to go. So we'll oil up the cast iron grates out there really good, and we should be ready to go. All right, so our fire's burned down to good coals here. And before we get the burgers on, we're going to warm a little six inch cast iron up here. We're going to do some sauteed mushrooms. And I'm just going to warm that pan up really good before we get the mushrooms in there. Uh, that's, that's the BSR six inch cast iron that we restored probably about seven, eight weeks ago. And it's turning out really, really, really well. So we're going to use that for mushrooms. And one thing I did mention before we put the uh, burgers on is we put them in the refrigerator after we patty them out and we're gonna let them chill for five minutes and I'm probably gonna let this pan heat up for the same amount of time and we'll let the fire burn down just a little bit more and then we'll be ready to go all right so the pan and the oils heated up for a few minutes here we'll go ahead and add that in the mushrooms in excuse me Okay, so that's good for the mushrooms. And here I have the bison patties. And what the recipe called for is you're supposed to spray each side with oil. And that's oil, by the way, canola oil. So what I'm going to do, and make sure you do that away from the fire because it will flame up. So we'll take it over here. And I'm just going to spray a layer of oil on it and brush it in. And you want to do that on both sides. That's going to help trap the moisture in the patty and prevent it from drying out. Okay, so we got the coat of oil on that side. around the flame with the oil because it will flame up. Okay, so I applied a good coat of oil on the bison burgers. We're going to stir the mushrooms 
and it calls for five minutes on each side of the patty and then uh, add cheese and then go an extra two minutes so we're going to go five minutes on each side all right folks so it's been five minutes at least and we're going to go for our first flip Stir the mushroom. Okay, so we'll go another five minutes and then we'll be ready for cheese. Okay, folks, we're at approximately the 10 minute mark here, and it's going to be about time to get cheese on it. And just for today, we're using normal old crafts cheese slices. Uh, I forgot to pick up good deli cheese for this. A little bit disappointed in that, but oh well, we'll deal with what we got. Okay, so we're going to let that go an additional two minutes, and while we're here, let's go ahead and stir them up. And then in about another two, three minutes, I think everything will be ready to come off. Alright, so we've been past two minutes here. We're going to check what we got. And yeah, oh yeah, cheese is melted. So, from what I've read, uh, it's called for just past the point of pink. And we're going to take a look in there, and I would say that's about where we're at. So, we're going to call that good. Okay, so this is what we have. We'll get everything inside, get everything situated, and then we'll come back. Okay, so here's what I have for the finished product as a meal and whole, I guess. Of course, I got the burger, mashed potatoes, and applesauce. And I usually never eat on camera. Um, it's just something that I don't like to do. I don't like to watch people eat, so it's something that I told myself I wouldn't do. But since it's something new that I've never tried, I'm going to give you a special event here. You may not see me do this again, but... I'm going to give you a reaction of how this is, so let's go for it. So I did it the same way as I would do a normal ground beef burger. With just ketchup, uh, lettuce, and of course I have the onion in the beef. Yeah, the beef. I have the onion in the bison. So... Right off the bat, I can't really tell that much of a difference. Other than, like I said, maybe the bison is a little bit more uh, fine, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. It's not as textured. And it's definitely not as greasy. But overall, it's good. I like it a lot. So I'll definitely be uh, trying more of the bison meat out. Uh, next time I would like to try a steak. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's really good. So, missing success. Uh, I guess that will conclude this cooking adventure. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And join us next time.